Convention Center in Atlantic City. Coming to the ring, the former WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Larry Holmes. So there's the big fella. As you know, from Eastern in Pennsylvania, known as the Eastern Assassin, but here's the man of the moment. This is Mike Tyson. And Mike defending the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world here. And what a menace Mike Tyson's proved to be. 28 fights, 28 straight wins. 22 years of age. And the recent form of Tyson's has been very, very good. Wins over Terrell Biggs, Tony Tucker, Pickton Thomas, Bo Crusher Smith, Trevor Burbick. Here he comes. So there he is then, the most successful, most punishing heavyweight on the planet. But I've got to say, I've got a, an awful lot of regard here for Larry Holmes, the former heavyweight champion. 48 wins, two defeats, 34 wins inside the limit. The only two losses, by the way, on the record were very contentious against Michael Spinks, looking to uh, equal the record set by Rocky Marciano of uh, 49 and 0. And there you are, Mike Tyson, 32 straight wins, 28 inside the limit. That uh, 1985 defeat to Michael Spinks went down as the upset of the year, according to Ring Magazine, and I can understand why. I actually had uh, Holmes winning both of those fights. So there's the tail of the tape. Holmes 10 pounds heavier with a four inch, uh, sorry, a 10 inch longer reach. But as you can see, he's a lot older, 17 years in it. So there you are, there are the uh, statistics of when Tyson fought Biggs and Tucker, and Holmes really fought Spinks, too, and Cooney. And there's not a great deal between them, is there? Holmes is slightly busier the two. In fact, uh, Tyson more accurate. And that could be the big difference between the pair of them. The Holmes jab very regular punch and they are the rules no standing eight count which is good and no three knockdown rule which is even better introductions I would like to acknowledge a man here in the ring who is indeed a man of heavyweight history in 1960 he was an Olympic gold medal champion in 1964 he became the heavyweight champion of the world in 1974 he again won the heavyweight title and in 1978 he became the only man in heavyweight history to win three world championships ladies and gentlemen the former three-time heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali! <laughs> Muhammad Ali! Yes, beaten by Larry Holmes in a shameful matchup eight years previously. and the Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino present heavyweight history. This bout is presented in association with the undisputed, undefeated king of beers, Budweiser. It is sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board. Boxing Commissioner Larry Hazard, Chairman Jerry Gormley, Deputy Commissioners Nick D. Balistrari and Lawrence Wallace, representing the World Boxing Council, its President Jose Suleiman and ringside supervisor Dwayne Ford. Here for the World Boxing Association, legal counsel James Jabins, Esquire. 
The three judges doing the scoring for this contest. Rudy Ortega, Nicasio Drake, and Charlie Spina. The timekeeper is Lindsey Tucker. Counting for the knockdown seconds, Frank Cappuccino. Chief ringside position, Dr. Frank B. Doggett. Also in attendance, Dr. Charles Wilson and Dr. Stanley Eden. And the referee for this bout is Joe Cortez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! 12 rounds for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the white trunks with red trim and weighs 225 and three quarter pounds. From Easton, Pennsylvania, his professional record, 48 victories, only two defeats, 34 KOs. For seven and a half years, he ruled the division as an undefeated champion with 20 successful defenses. Tonight, he's the challenger. Ladies and gentlemen, the man known as the Easton Assassin, former heavyweight champion of the world, Larry Ho! And in the red corner, wearing the solid black trunks, weighing 215 and three quarter pounds, from Catskill, New York, which is the home, hometown of the late great trainer of champions, Customato. His professional record, a perfect 32-0, 28 KOs, 23 KOs in four rounds or less, and 16 knockouts in the first round. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the undefeated, undisputed, heavyweight champion of the world, The undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, then, Iron Mike Tyson, taking on Larry Holmes here, a former WBC heavyweight champion, lost the title in his 20th defense. But what a great fighter he is, a great boxer, I should say. Beautiful left hand, very much in the Muhammad Ali role. And don't forget, he beaten Muhammad Ali back in 1980 in a very uh, cynical matchup. So Mike Tyson, then, the most destructive heavyweight of his generation. Coming up for round one here, against Larry Holmes, a master boxer with a great boxing brain. Tyson, a real student of the sport. And as you can see, Tyson starting very quickly here. Holmes hanging on, referee Joe Cortez breaks them up. And this Atlantic City Convention Center absolutely buzzing. Holmes trying to contain Tyson in these early moments. Easier said than done. Well, Tyson there rips in with the left hook. There's an old saying that the boxer will always beat the fighter. And of course, uh, that's not always true. Tyson, a much, much better boxer than he's ever given credit for. Amazingly quick and very, very powerful. Harry Holmes from Eastern in Pennsylvania, known as the Eastern Assassin. Well, he's just trying to stand his toes here. He Use the left hand to fend Tyson off, but Tyson just knows all about Larry Holmes. He's been studying him for years too. Uh, watch the way Tyson manages to snake under and around that left hand of uh, Larry Holmes. The left hand of Larry Holmes, in fact, has done so much damage over the years. He had some very decent fighters. The right hand's pretty mean, too. If you just cast your mind back to the way he knocked out Alfredo Evangelista. An absolutely stunning punch. Let's go. 
Well, Larry Holmes hasn't done a great deal of work in this opening session. Took a good left hook there. Well, this could just be Larry Holmes taking a good look at the man in front of him to see exactly what he's capable of, feel the weight of his punches, and see how he can be exploited. Well, Joe Cortez did his best there, trying to get these two lads to break up without getting physically involved. Well, up the gut there from Holmes. And again, no problems with Tyson, though. So the undefeated Mike Tyson, 34 straight wins, 28 inside the limit. He's made six defences so far of the WBA and WBC titles. And this is third defence of the combined championships. IBF, WBC and WBA. There's Larry Holmes, of course, who made 19. Successful defence of the WBC title. I've got to take you back to the time he fought uh, Ernie Shavers for the second time. In Caesar's Palace, Ernie okay. Shavers landed the most almighty punch you've ever seen in your life. Completely poleaxed Larry Holmes. But Larry got up and stopped him a couple of rounds later. And to this day, I still don't know how. Into round two, then, of a scheduled 12 rounder. At stake, of course, the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. The richest prize in sports. Held at the moment by Mike Tyson in the black shorts. Tyson won this title and became the youngest heavyweight champion in the history of the sport, relegating Floyd Patterson, of course, to number two. Oh, good left hook there from Tyson. Tyson there belying that uh, fighter's tag that he has. As I said, he's a very smart boxer at times with a very good boxing brain. As rough as they come, but talented as well. I still have a cut again there from Larry Holmes. He did that in the first round as well a couple of times. Oh, Tyson there, not averse to using the forearm. Yeah, watch your elbow, says referee Cortez. Oh, a nice strike there from Larry Holmes. Well, a bit more success for Holmes in this round, but uh, overall, of course, Tyson still looking very much in charge. Mike Tyson, five feet eleven inches tall. Larry Holmes, six feet three. But Tyson once again showing that that's. No downside for him as the bell ends the round. Well, what can you tell 
Mike Tyson at this point. It's probably what Kevin Rooney is thinking. Let me hold you. Oh shit, oh shit, don't tell me I ain't holding you tight. You're not punching, you're not gonna hold you. Don't hand me that crap. Spit down the book. We don't have another bucket, now spit down that one. Go ahead. And take that, give me a mouthpiece. It's okay, man. You put one jab, one decent jab in the land, man. I'm gonna put pressure on you, Michael. You're gonna punch every time you get it. So a bit of replay here then, from that uh, particular session. Tyson goes in, lands a big punch there, almost to the kidney, but a sweeping left hook that grazed the chin. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So the Eastern Assassin then gets ready here. Till it is in round three. And as you heard there, Rooney chatting for Tyson in a pretty tough manner, which I like. Keeps fighters on their toes. And one thing, of course, Larry Holmes has always done is he's punched through the left hand. And that's actually, albeit a very successful former in the past, against Mike Tyson, it's not proving it to be that way because if you punch through an opponent, you, you actually get closer to them. And that doesn't suit Holmes at all. Of course, he can't just flick out his jab. He's not made that way. So when he commits himself to the left hand, he's actually very, very in range for Tyson. Break out, 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 let's go, break out of there. Come on. So the old master then, Larry Holmes, almost 40 years of age, against a man barely in his 20s here. This could be a case of the king is dead, long live the king. Right, break out, let's go, get him out, get him out, let's go. Good left hook there from Tyson, very quickly. Close the gap. All right, get the arms out, come on. All right, break, break out, team. Break out, don't punch him. Let's go. A very, very good state of alertness here from Tyson. He's got that look in his eye, he's incredibly determined. And Holmes at this point. Still looking a wee bit amused by the, uh, the sheer speed and ferocity of Tyson. His part, he was trying to box his way to victory. But it's awfully difficult when you've got a man who keeps charging down on you. And Holmes not getting the time or space to use those very silky skills that he used to have not that long ago. Good right there from Tyson, and a big left hook over the top on the bell. Well, Larry Holmes almost saying, just you wait till the next round. Well, if uh, Holmes does win this one, it will shock the world. Big one, big one, big one. I've got to remind you, of course, uh, about some spectacular wins that uh, Holmes has had. So he only shaves a couple of times to beat Mike Weaver. Okay. Alfredo right, Evangelista, an absolute okay, cracking okay, knockout. Let's go Ken now. Norton. Come on now. You know, some, some very good names. We've got to a bit of replay here from the third round. I think this is towards the end. In fact, it was. The right hand there from Tyson over the top. Almost not the gum shot out. Then the left hook right on the bell. It's also beaten other men, Bo Gretchen Smith, Marvis Frazier, Tim Witherspoon, Jerry Cooney. Who got it? Leon Spinks, of course, Mike's brother, and Trevor Burbick. Mike Tyson in the menacing black shorts, black boots, no socks against Larry Hoax. A silky smooth former 
Heavyweight champion of the world. On his feet now, on his toes, poking up that jab. And that's, of course, what we've expected from Larry Holmes, but we haven't had it so far. Now we've got it. What could Tyson do about it? This is looking very good now for Larry Holmes. If we can only keep up this approach. Tyson tries to get close to him. But of course, Larry Holmes can't do this for 15 rounds. Not at his age. Only 40 years of age. Ali tried it and failed against Larry Holmes. Let's go. Holmes, incidentally, a former Muhammad Ali sparring partner. That's where he learned his tricks. And that's where he probably adopted his style as well. Oh, goodness, we want a right hand there from Tyson. And Larry Holmes on his back here in round four. But he's beaten the count. That was a very, very heavy right hand. Well, Holmes says he's OK. And just put your mind back to the night when only Shavers cracked him as well. How did Holmes beat that one? He's down again, second time. Not too convinced about that particular knockdown, but it may well have been a right hand on the temple. Seven, how do you feel? Eight, you all right? So Joe Cortez, Cortez counts to eight again. And Mike Tyson now, very menacing. Larry Holmes surviving on pure courage, pure instinct. And again, that Tyson right hand. Oh, and he's got him again. Holmes on very shaky legs here in the fourth. Tyson desperate for that knockout blow to land. Well, he's not rushing in Tyson, is he? Just picking the right punch. And this now looks awfully painful. Oh, what a punch that was. Oh, and he's gone again, and the legs absolutely collapse underneath him. So, Larry Holmes then absolutely flattened here in the fourth round. A bevy of punches there from Mike Tyson. He never let up, did he? Mike Tyson... Still the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, but Larry Holmes, they're completely flattened, and when the legs buck underneath you like that, you know it's a bad one. Get this man out of so what on earth pulled Holmes off the floor to walk into trouble like this? Well, he's uh, getting crowded here. But Gamely wants to climb up. That was a shattering win, though, for Tyson. Well, Tyson back on his, uh, sorry, my apologies, Holmes back on his feet then. And, uh, well, he looks OK. Watch this again. Blistering attack here from Mike Tyson. Crunching right hand there. And that's the one that started it all off. And this were, these are the combinations that finished it. What a right that was. That was still the first one, but from the reverse angle. And that's the overhead version. The elbow almost following through there. The final knockdown was a devastating one. As I say, Holmes's legs collapsed underneath him. That was the second one. Tyson absolutely relentless. Once again, the second knockdown there from the reverse angle. And this should be the overhead version. Oh, 
Well, nothing particularly conclusive there. But this should be the final uh, knockdown of the entire fight, and of course the fight itself. As Tyson found himself hitting an unguarded target, and that was on the chin. That was smack on the point of the chin. Watch this again. Harry Holmes a bit disorganized, the gum shield almost out of his mouth. And when that final right hand landed, it was perfect. And that was the one. And you see that left leg there buckled underneath the former champion. And this is sheer courage and survival instinct. But of course, it only got him into the fourth round. So, still the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, then Mike Tyson at the age of 22. What is left for him? The end comes at 2 minutes 55 seconds of the fourth round. The winner, and still the undisputed, undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Yes, indeed, then Iron Mike Tyson came in the ring as champion. He'll leave it as champion.